Uh, all right. Well, we got a show coming up soon. Look, the hippo is out, and they've got everybody's got the stuff. Uh, oh, Netanyahu says, "Wait, the Arabs are turning out, and I'll win soon." <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's look around the room. Jamie, how are you? Salty Bob. Hello, Salty. Yeah. I'm very good, Lauren. I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? Huh? <laughs> I'm excited about the night. Nance Brody is here tonight. That's going to be yeah, fun. Yeah, Nance is great. I, I, I love Nance's music. Oh, cool. She's really terrific. Yep. Wait. And we've got, uh, we've got, uh, well, we've only got three comedians. Roger 990 is coming, but uh, his Ambien kicked in, so he won't be here. <laughs> 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 Durst murder trial in capital of celebrity cases. I miss Franny. Franny just told a joke in typing. Why don't blind people skydive? Because it scares the crap out of their dogs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here we go. And guess what? It is almost time to play What's My Funny Bone. There we go. We're ready. Everybody ready? Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, missed all you guys. Yep, I had to listen to all these people try to sell you products, <laughs> laughing about, haha, we're back, we're having fun, you know. So anyhow, by the way, my brother told me, and we can make a lot of things out of this. By the way, Doc, you'll come up with a bunch, but my brother said his smart car was so smart, he went to the mall and went shopping and came out two hours later. His car had gotten tired waiting for him and went home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How smart is your smart car, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now they have the machines talking to machines, so my car is talking to another car. Who knows where they've gone? You know, suppose they go around a corner. Yeah. And what's going to happen with this Apple Watch? Does that mean that if you download one of those dating apps or something, the two watches will sparkle and let you know as you pass somebody that would like to get laid? I mean, that's yeah, a, why not? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's, there's a product that everybody's waiting for. Yeah. So, yeah, so today is St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know anything mm -hmm. about St. Patrick's Day? Does anybody know anything it's about it? It's actually an American holiday, isn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it was a religious, it It's a religous holiday. It's a holiday. It's a Boston holiday. It's a, yeah, it no, it's a Saint States. Day. It's like St. Good Mile. Yeah, beer wine, right? and beer. So, so beer, right? You have to drink oh, green beer and you eat the... Uh, uh, what? Oh, hello, Randy, always. And, and, Randy and you eat corn it. beef and cabbage and all that, right? Yeah, so, yep. So, so maybe what we need is like Jesus Day and everybody walks around with a cross. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Easter? <laughs> Church holiday. <laughs> Muslim Day. Me. Everybody straps a bomb on themselves. Just a few people get broke up. You see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that parade. Could explode conf confetti or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, right. Yep, 70 virgins. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot of nuns to try to please, right? <laughs> <laughs> An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman were reading a newspaper article about which nationalities' brains were for sale for transplant purposes. An Irishman or a Scotsman brain could be bought for 500 pounds, but an English brain cost 10,000 pounds. That proves, says the Englishman, that Englishmen are much more clever than Irishmen or Scotsmen. No, it doesn't, says the Irishman. It just means that the English brain has never been used. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you get when you cross poison ivy with a four-leaf clover? A rash of good luck. All right, this <laughs> Irish oh. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, a Texas rancher comes to Ireland and meets a Kerry farmer. And the Texan says, takes me a whole damn day to drive from one side of my ranch to the other. Kerry farmer says, ah, sure, I know, sir. We have tractors like that over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody having fun? Yeah. yeah. What is mm -hmm. this? Yeah. 
Uh, I wish I could read my notes. We could have some real good jokes. Oh, this was great. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you who are going to see the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey movie, this review says, Strip Christian Grey of his wealth, and he's just a misogynistic jerk who beats his girlfriends. What do you think uh, about that, Doc Run? <laughs> you agree <okay>. with that? <laughs> I heard it was billed as the worst movie ever made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're repainting the Red Room. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do, do all of you know the end of the story? He turns into a wimpy house, house uh, uh, whatever, uh, husband, right? And that's uh, how the like, story goes. Like fan fiction. I only read the first book, so I don't even know. Yeah, if you read the oh, rest God, of the books, you'll find out, yeah. Fairy tales. I just found out. It's a series. I had no idea. Yep, yep. three books. Three. Yeah. And they Three actually did end the movie where the first book ends. So, so yeah, they're going to bring on the. Out on him yeah. in the movie, you wanted to cheer at the end. She goes, "Go to hell," and she leaves. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom Cruise is doing the second book. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! Right. And right. Bill Gibson the third. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was the part he was made for. The Scientology <laughs> trilogy, huh? <laughs> He's got Fifty Shades of Grey in his hair. Oh. Two Irishmen met, and one said to the other, Have you seen Mulligan lately, Pat? And Pat says, Well, I have, and I haven't. His friend asks, What do you mean by that? Pat says, It's like this, you see. I saw a chap who I thought was Mulligan, and he saw a chap that he thought was me. And when we got up to one another, it was neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke. You like that one? <laughs> just so easily <laughs> pleased. <laughs> O'Connell was staggering home with a small patty in his back pocket when he slipped, fell heavily. Struggling to his feet, he felt something wet running down his leg. Please, God, he implored, let it be blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's Pearly? Pearly, are you here? You awake yet? Hello, hello. Pearly, hello. Hello, hello Pearly. She's out oh, partying. Yeah. Has anybody else got on a plane lately? I mean, I think they've getting these seats smaller and smaller because <coughs> they're not getting any bigger, and I can barely get into these things anymore. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. I want to tell you the desks at schools are way too small for the new generation of kids. They are yeah. like Is that right? <laughs> hanging off the edges. And restaurants are actually putting in bigger booths and, uh, and chairs and things. Yeah. Uh -huh. People are getting yeah. huge. Yeah. They really are. Well, we're only trying to get as big as the cows we're eating. <laughs> we, yeah. Up there pumping Walmart's going to need wider well, doors to accommodate those scooters. It's not all, it's not They're going to need they're wider scooters. Fat. They're getting yeah. taller, too. The, the yeah. kids are taller. Uh, so Murphy was selling his house and put the matter to an agent's hands. The agent wrote up the sales blurb for the house that made wonderful reading. After Murphy read it, he turned to the agent and asked, Have I got all you say there? The agent says, Certainly you have. Why do you ask? Murphy replied, Cancel the sale. This place sounds grand to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, laugh and then said, uh, uh -huh. An Irish priest is driving down a highway and pulled over for speeding. The policeman smells alcohol on the priest's breath and then sees an empty gun bottle beside him and asks the priest, Sir, have you been drinking? The police responds, No, officer, just water. The policeman asks, Then why do I smell wine? The priest looks at the bottle and says, The good Lord, he's done it again. <laughs> That's good. You see, we can make you laugh. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Went to Veritas Ireland and killed the here. snakes. I think Veritas. he took the snakes and sent them to Manhattan, down on Wall Street. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. One more and we'll bring up a real comedian. <laughs> an Irish <laughs> priest and a rabbi get into a car accident. They get out of their cars and walk to the side of the road. The rabbi says, Oi vey, what a wreck. The Irish priest pulls out a bottle of whiskey, says, Here, drink some of this. It will calm your nerves. The rabbi drinks the whiskey and asks, what are we going to tell the police? The Irish police, priest replies, I don't know what you're going to tell them, but I'll tell them I wasn't the one drinking. 
What do you want? Some good, some good jokes. I'm not, all right. You want a good joke? Before we go on, we're getting a good joke. This one, cut. All right, I'm going to read you one given to me by my girlfriend in first life, giving us jokes to do in second life. How about wow. that? Wow. Now, wow. Who's wow. <laughs> right. big? Good drug. There's one Bring of three on. she gave me. I'll give you the first one now. I have not read them, so I don't know if they're good or bad. You ready? An American mm-hmm. tourist in London decides to skip his tour group and explore the city on his own. He wanders around seeing the sights and occasionally stopping at a quaint pub to soak up the local culture, chat with the lads, and have a pint of Guinness. After a while, he finds himself in a very high-class neighborhood. Big, stately residences. No pubs, no stores, no restaurants, and worst of all, no public restrooms. He really, really has to go, and after all those Guinness beers, he finds a narrow side street with high walls surrounding the adjacent buildings and decides to use the wall to solve the problem. As he's unzipping, he is tapped on the shoulder by a London bobby who says, I say, sir, you simply cannot do that here, you know. I'm very sorry, officer, replies the American, but I really have to go. Just can't find a public restroom. Ah, yes, says the bobby. Just follow me. And he leads him to a back delivery alley, then along a wall to a gate, which he opens. In there, points the bobby. Whiz away anywhere you want. The fellow enters, finds himself in the most beautiful garden he's ever seen. Manicured grass lawns, statuary fountains, sculptured hedges, and huge beds of gorgeous flowers, all in perfect bloom. Since he has the cop's blessing, he unburdens himself, is greatly relieved. And as he goes back through the gate, he says to the Bobby, that was really decent of you. Is this what you call British hospitality? No, replied the Bobby with a satisfied smile on his face. That's what we call the French embassy. (laughs) 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 Oh, oh, you like that. Yeah. 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 (laughs)